So here we have the Minn Kota Precision 5 bank charger. Part number MK for Minn Kota. Five, first five is for five banks. One, two, three, four, five. And then the 50 is because it's uh, 10 amps per bank. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, PC is precision charger. And then the L is for lithium. And so, as you'll notice on this charger, you have options. You can go stick with the, the AGM, uh, flooded lithium. You, you have multiple options depending on your current configuration. And that's the primary reason why I went with this charger is because I'm, I'm, I'm going to have three batteries for the trailer motor on lithium. One dedicated towards a portion of electronics and then... I'm sticking with the AGM for the cranking engine just because personal preference. Uh, you can go with what you want, listen to what's out there, but I don't like the concept of uh, a lithium BMS shutting down on my main engine. So that's that's where I stand on that. But anyways, uh, this is not my first precision charger. I've had ones, other ones before. I stuck I stuck with the 110 for my main uh, battery. Uh, it's been pretty good to me, so that's why I, I went with this one. Uh, and then also doing the research, the fact that it supported lithium. And so right now we just we got some batteries hooked up. Um, they're fresh. They just got just got here. So what I'm gonna do, and this is always a good, whether it's lithium or AGMs, you always want to make sure that you initially charge the batteries um, right out the when you first get them that way if uh you have any if, if they're at different voltages and you put them in a, a series setup 36 volts you want them to charge and discharge evenly um so it's a good rule of thumb so i labeled them you know one two three for trailer motor and then this one's going to go to um, electronics and then additionally so each bank is labeled by mancota but sometimes these stickers come off so i just it's just easy for me to just kind of look at it. So take a permanent marker to that. And so when you power it up for the first time, they put this warning on there. And it pretty much says that, hey, you know, it's preset to flooded lead acid. So we don't have flooded lead acid. So we're going to have to go into setting up the type of battery. And I'm going to show you that now. So we'll apply power. All the cool little lights up and then when it first comes up you can see that it's on that second light so the second light meant flooded so that's the battery type second lights flooded and then after that it starts going to a charge and uh, so we don't want it to flood these lithium batteries on a, a flooded cycle so what we'll do is we're just going to hold this button down let it go through its cycle and then when it comes back boom lithium this one too lithium and for this one I'll just hold it so you can see like it let's say you wanted to go to flooded what do you do you just keep holding it so it'll be flooded if I let it go now AGM if I let it go now and it's gonna go back lithium boom unfortunately I already see it's charging it's in the green there we go so now they're all charging based on the lithium cycle which is going to put more juice to those batteries than it would let's say um flooded or agms um and then as, as far as the charger goes it's uh doesn't weigh too much i don't know maybe 10 12 pounds um it's about 12 inches it's about 12 inches by 10 inches uh and i think it's like three and a half high um so as far as size-wise, I think it'll fit in my boat just fine. So hopefully you like that. Hopefully you learned something. And if you're considering a charger for lithiums, I'd highly recommend this one. Thanks.